Oh, thank you. It is indeed a very valuable question. Uh, the present government in Bangladesh came to power in 2008 and they declared a Vision 2021 goal to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the independence of Bangladesh. There, they made it mandatory in this that that they, we must create a, a friendly, investment friendly environment in the ICT sector using the regulatory procedure. So when I came to uh, take the responsibility of the association, I said my way of regulation will be less regulation and consultative regulation. So that is why when I try to formulate a policy, I usually talk to all the stakeholders. They come into my office, into BTRC, we consult, and then if they cannot come, they can submit their recommendation through the website and through other means. So that's how you know, we make it very friendly, uh, investment friendly. And the, the biggest reward of the legal framework is the license. By issuing a license to a, to a vendor or to an operator, we make sure that they can operate during the period of the license, tenure of the license, without being interrupted by the political system. Even if this political government goes, another political system comes. Because of the legal licensing framework, they are guaranteed to work. Yeah. And, um, and then another protection we gave them through licensing that if anyone wants to operate illegally, we can prosecute them or they will be protected from them. And they, when they complain to us, the illegally operating uh, vendors, you know, they will be prosecuted. Okay. So that's the legal side. And on the business side, we are offering lots of incentives to bring FDI into the country and to give a lot of promotion. You know, for example, if anyone invests in the ICT sector, they are protected, they will not pay any taxes for the next 12 years. They can take loan, you know, plenty of money around for startups. Even for the FDI, initially the rule or the policy was that they cannot take more than 51%. They can go up to 49% equity participation and 49% them. Now, we are promoting them or we are now allowing them to increase their equity even more than 50%, 60%, So to, in, to encourage FDI to come in. So that's how, you know, through regulatory process, we are providing a investment friendly legal and business framework. Oh, good, you know, it's a very good uh, point to discuss about. You know, in this symposium, WTI 17, something comes up that is called indicators. Indicators are very much important for a country like us. If they see that we are, we are ranking very good or we rank very good in this scale, then that's a good news for the investors. That's a good news for the country people. That's a good news politically, everything. So that is why we think that this session, this particular conference is very important. So that right kind of indicators 
are chosen and then we and uh, we 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 uh, come up very good on all all indicators you know so combining every indicators when the rank comes in we like to move up so that is why it is important and uh, this morning i presented my views on the indicators and i said that these are probably not the correct one maybe correct but we should revisit the issue because we have invested heavily in the telco sector but yet why we are so below the ranking and lo and behold my views were echoed by many countries who have invested highly but for some reason because of the ch indicators chosen they have ranked their ranking is going below lower and lower so hopefully tomorrow or during this session they will revisit the indicators so that we get better awarded better reward of course i am very much very soon we'll be starting 4g for many reasons we couldn't start 4g as of now probably will be starting within a month or two and then the people are using more and more data and then uh, we have started thinking about 5g and then this has become a big enabler of the economic activities throughout the whole country so the government as well as the private sector are joining hand in hand which we call private public private partnership into developing this sector finally but not the least i thank government of tunisia for organizing this session and for their hospitality or those people they have extended to us